Hello everyone, this is Mike and this is my brief review of Star Wars The Black Series, Wave 2. And just like Wave 1, Wave 2 has four figures. These figures are Han Solo, Boba Fett, Greedo, and Princess Leia in her slave outfit. First things first, I will be discussing the packaging. As you can see, two of the figures have already been removed from their boxes. Ta-da! Vanishing act. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, I've left Greedo and Leia in their boxes. And just to show you how the boxes look like, uh, I'm actually a very big fan of this design. It's very simple. Uh, it's a minimalist design. Uh, it just uses a lot of black and as few words as possible. It just shows you the figure as is and the uh, accessories included and that's it. Also it takes up it takes up very little space so you know it won't give you much problems when it comes to storage. And this is the back of the packaging for Greedo and as you can see as I said it's very minimalist and uh, not a lot of words. Uh, the text just describes uh, what, what the who this character is. This is Princess Leia in her slave outfit, a very eagerly anticipated figure for obvious reasons. There she is, Carrie Fisher. And here they are out of their boxes. And here is the rest of Wave 2. I will be discussing this guy, whoops, and this guy first. Han Solo, the man himself, every girl's dream. The Han Solo figure is a really good figure, in my opinion. I really like this toy. Um, face sculpt wise, uh, it's not an exact replica of Harrison Ford's face, but it's it's pretty close. It's as I wouldn't say it's as close as you can get, but it's pretty close for a 6 inch figure. I think it's just a really good resemblance, you know, I mean, they, they got his huge gigantic nose, his uh, stern eyes, that intense gaze, you know, and those, uh, th th that chin, that huge chin, they, they kind of exaggerated it for the toy, but you know, uh, he has to be recognizable, right? So. I have just realized that I have been blabbing all this time without doing an actual close-up of his face, so... Well, here it is. There you go. Now, isn't he pretty? As for the rest of his body... I absolutely love the detail on this guy. Like, look at all those wrinkles and those creases and those pockets and those buttons. I love that belt. It is so detailed and the paint wash and see those little folds on his boots. Solo comes with four accessories. One of them is this stormtrooper gun or rifle or whatever. I'm not really that familiar. Uh, he actually in the box he actually comes with the stormtrooper belt. This white belt thing and you can fit the stormtrooper rifle in the holster see and this brown belt it actually comes detached from the figure in the box and in this belt you can fit his fourth accessory which is this tiny blaster pistol thing that is a beautiful gun. It's his signature firearm, I think, if I can recall correctly. It's very well detailed for such a small item. I really like it. And uh, I made a mistake. I said there were four accessories. There are actually six. Because there is an extra pair of hands. The other pair are basically hands without these gloves. See, in, in, the, in, in these two, he's wearing yellow gloves. Articulation is really good. Uh, 
um, he has all the standard joints like uh, for example the neck is a ball joint he can look up and down sideways he's also got a ball joint for the shoulders so he can lift that up that way the elbows have uh, cuts and the hinge now this is the only thing I don't like he can't exactly well he can't bend his elbows any further so he can't touch his own shoulders uh, but so what you know it's just a minor gripe the hands uh, yeah the hands swivel back and forth and around he's got this waist articulation sadly he can't really bend forward so much bend backwards too much that that's basically his random range of motion um, he's got leg articulation also he can't do a Van Damme style split that's about as far as he can go uh, double jointed knees and he's got a rocker joint on his ankle which allows you to position the feet in such a way that they stay flat on the ground this whatever his pose you see so it's really stable next is the bad ass bounty hunter Boba Fett and he is just magnificent check out all those details in the paint and the sculpt he is just awesome now look at that helmet he is so menacing and robot like and uh cool and evil i love the weathering you know the battle damage on his armor uh the wrinkles on the fabric um all these little details on the arm the bracers i think these are small electronics i don't know what it does with them see it looks like he has some kind of mini missile on his arm guard and what looks like a calculator yeah or an abacus I don't know look at that belt I love it and I also love this flappy uh, cape thing but it's a little scary because it's attached to the plastic by this little knot of fabric here if you're really careless you can tear this off Fett comes with two guns one of them looks like a wooden toy the other one looks like some kind of a high-tech space rifle and also of course you can't leave home without a jetpack Boba Fett so there you go now you're the Boba Fett that everyone loves and pretends didn't die and return to Jedi articulation is where Boba Fett sucks eggs well it's not so bad it's just not, it's not as good as Han Solo or, or later Greedo or even Leia's articulation uh, this is mainly because of the nature of his sculpt his armor is very bulky so it limits a lot of movements uh, the worst of these are the thigh joints here uh, because of these pouches the material they use for this these pouches they're very rigid so you can't exactly bend the thighs forward see see he has a lot of trouble doing it so you won't be able to pose him in you know very dynamic poses it's very tough another thing that another problem is the shoulder joints again the uh, shoulder armor is very thick so he can't really raise his arm yeah but he can rotate his torso pretty good uh, usual head articulation here not bad he's also got the rocking ankle joints double jointed knees which look really weird yeah that's so weird and the hands move 
nicely, nice elbow joints. You know, it's not he's not really so bad. It's just that Guido. It took me about an hour to get him to balance in this pose, so I'm just gonna let him stay like that for a little while. I lied. So Greedo is a really cool figure. Um, the sculpt is amazing, especially on that Muppet face. I mean, look at all those details. Just look. Look at all those ugly warts. And that, uh, I'm not even sure I should be calling it hair. The antennae, the bulbous eyes, and that weird mouth of it. I love the details on the scalp, like he has so many wrinkles in his, on his clothes. And his uh, 70s pants, look at all those details. The paint is also awesome, he looks really dirty. Articulation wise, he is exactly the same as Han Solo because they practically share the same body type. They're both very tall, gangly, uh, very gaunt, so his range of motion is excellent, just like Solo. Last, and sadly the least, is sad Princess Leia. Princess Leia is very depressed. Maybe a little puppy will brighten up her day. I'm sad to say this perverts, but Princess Leia is the weakest of the bunch. Um, let's start with the face. The face sculpt, um, it could have been better. I mean, okay, I wouldn't, I'm not gonna lie, it does resemble Carrie Fisher, the actress who played Princess Leia in the original trilogy. The problem is, it's like they took a picture of Carrie Fisher on a very bad day, you know. This is not uh, her most becoming look, you know. And um, I guess I was expecting a little more fire in that expression, a little more uh, uh, rebelliousness. You know, in the particular scene, in the scenes in which she was wearing this outfit, she was basically kicking ass. You know, she was kicking tail, she was strangling Jabba the Hutt, and she was kicking ass. So, yeah, I was expecting a tougher look for her. And this is just kind of depressing. Because Princess Leia in her slave outfit is basically half naked, you know, you won't expect, you, you shouldn't expect that many uh, details, you know, it's just a lot of skin. It's a lot of skin. The detail on the hair is pretty good. It's not bad. The chain looks a little thick-ish. The each ringlet looks a little fat. I don't know. The bra, the, there's some detail on the bra. It's not so bad. The belt, that's all right. That's, see, you can see some uh, carvings on that belt in the back. Her loincloth, as you can see, is made of real fabric, uh, which I don't really mind, except that this kind of fabric, it has a tendency to, well, can you see this? It's already fraying at the edges. So you might want to use scissors to trim that. Paint job is overall pretty good, um, except for the thighs, ah, sorry, the calves. If you look real closely, they painted the inner boot the same color of her flesh so now her lower legs look like they're thicker than they should be so I don't know that's not that looks kind of awkward the other problem of uh, having a half naked figure is that you can see all her joints uh, all her joints are visible and it's pretty ugly Let's see uh, the hips look terrible. The hips look weird. Look at this. It's like, I don't know, it's like it's jutting out of her hips or something. Princess Leia comes with two accessories. One of them is the halberd. I think it's a halberd. The other one on the right is kind of like a staff and a gun. And here is Princess Leia sadly 
displaying both of her accessories. Articulation is comparable to Han Solo and Greedo, which basically means her articulation is pretty good. Oops. And so there it is, Star Wars Black Series Wave 2. Han Solo, Boba Fett, Greedo, and Princess Leia in the slave outfit. I love this line and I love this wave. I love the three, uh, three out of four characters are awesome. Um, Slave Leia, you know, you can do without her, but if you're, you know, if you're a completist, you know, you might as well get her, but if I were you, I'd just get Solo, Greedo, and Fett. They are awesome. I love this line and I'm hoping to see more figures. I can't wait for Darth Vader, for example. Um, Luke Sky more Sco Luke Skywalkers. You know, because in Wave 1 we got him in his uh, X-Wing uniform. Again, this is Mike. Thank you for watching this review. Please read the written review, you know. It's, uh, there's more insight there. It's a lot more in-depth. Also, please... Uh, read my game reviews and my other toy reviews which I did for GMA News Online. Thank you.